Hello guys, I am Vishali Hikan from Dopamine and we are discussing digital circuits. In digital circuits, we are discussing decoders and today it is a very important video where we are going to understand the realization of Boolean functions using decoders. So we are going to use the decoders and we are going to realize the Boolean functions using them. So let's understand the realization of Boolean function using the decoders. So we, the question is implement Boolean function f of a, b, c is a summation of min terms 1, 2, 3, 7 using 3 is to 8 decoder. So basically we have 3 is to 8 decoder. Right. In this 3 is to 8 decoder we have 3 inputs. So the function is also of 3 variables a, b and c. So we have taken the 3 inputs as a, b, c. We have uh, enable also, we are representing it as E. We are considering the enable is high. So, for that, we are going to get the 8 output. So, we are going to get the 8 output as Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4, Y5, Y6 and Y7. Right, so now these 8 outputs are there with respect to the 3 inputs and we know each of these 8 outputs are representing the min term. So why not represents the min term A bar, B bar, C bar. I hope you have seen the video on the 3 is to 8 decoder. If not, you can go and watch that first and then come to this video because I have already explained that this why not how it is represented by the min term A bar, B bar, C bar. Now y1 is represented by the min term a bar b bar c, y2 is represented by the min term a bar b c bar, y3 is represented by the min term a bar b c, y4 by a b bar c bar, y5 with a b bar c, y6 with a b c bar and y7 with a b c so the min term 0 it is there it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so i am representing with m0 m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 m7 so basically the function is summation of min term 1, 2, 3 and 7. So we are going to take the min term 1, the min term 2, the min term 3 and the min term 7. So because it's a summation of all of these min terms, we are going to take OR gate. So this OR gate will be giving the summation of min term 1. 2, 3 and 7. So this is how very simply you can make the boolean function representation using the 3 to 8 decoder. So now coming to a very important topic, the realization of a boolean function using the decoder. Now which boolean function? The full adder we are going to realize with the help of the 3 to 8 decoder. So again here we have 3 is to 8 decoder, right? And we have to implement the full adder. So basically in the full adder we have 3 inputs A, B and C, right? 2 inputs A, B and the carry. So we have 2 outputs carry and sum. So when A, B, C all are 0, both carry and sum becomes 0. When A and B are 0, carry is 1, sum becomes 1, carry becomes 0. So when A is 0, B is 1 and carry is 0, carry is 0, sum becomes 1. So when we have A, B as 0, 1 and carry as 1, so carry becomes 1, sum becomes 0. So when A is 1, B is 0, C is 0. So we have carry as 0, sum as 1. So when A is 1, B is 0, carry is 1. So in that case, carry is 1, sum as 0. So when A, B are 1, 1 and carry is 0. So again, carry becomes 1, sum becomes 0. A, B both are 1, carry is also 1. So carry is also 1, sum is also 1. So this is how we get two outputs, 
right with the help of three inputs so basically in the 3 is to 8 decoder we have three inputs a b and c in right and then we have the eight outputs so eight outputs as i already represented it these are representing the min terms 0 up to min term 8 so m0 m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 and m7 so min term 0 to min term 7 basically so it, these are representing the 8 outputs of the 3 is to 8 decoder now if you check carry so for the carry if you see we have the this is min term 0 1 2 3 so we have min term 3 then 5 6 7 so we are going to take the min term 3 5 6 and 7 and we are going to add all of them using the OR gate so this is how you are going to get the carry now coming to the sum so in the sum you get m1 m2 this is m4 and m7 so you are going to take m1 m2 m4 and m7 so you are going to again add all of them so here you are going to get sum right so this is a connection rest all of these are not connected right so this is how you are going to get sum and carry for the full adder using the 3 is to 8 decoder so with the help of 3 is to 8 decoder and two or gates you are going to get the sum and carry so i hope you understood the realization of the boolean functions using the decoders if you have any doubt you can put that out in the comment section and i'll be trying to reach out to you as soon as possible Please like the video, subscribe the channel and share it with your friends and meet me soon in the next class where we will be winding up the decoders. Thank you so much.